Hello there, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple but basic walk cycle. So if you're new to animation and you're looking um, at how to create a walk cycle quickly and easily, hopefully this will inspire you and be the video for you. Um, so I'm working in Toon Boom Animate and I've created a little uh, cartoon version of me here and as you can see if I click down here he's all rigged and ready to go for the animation. Um, I won't go into the details of the rig on this video. Um, so the first thing I like to do, well, once it's all ready to go, I've got a basic background in there as well, is to create this line layer uh, as a guide so that when I start to walk him across the screen I can see that he's walking um, flat on the floor rather than going off into the sky somewhere. Okay, so we're going to create our first pose now. Now I want this walk cycle contains only four keyframes. So the first keyframe is going to be um, the legs open position. So as he's walking, he's stretching his legs out. So, nice, simple, basic position, like so. So, you, also you can play with this and, and be fiddly if you want to be, but I'm going to do it nice and quickly for you. Um, so, this is the behind leg and this is the front leg here. Um, so, if this, if this is the front leg, the front arm should be opposite to that. So, we'll create that. Feel free to move the arm around the body. The shoulder would rock, so don't feel you have to just use it on the pivot, like here you can actually physically move the arm. It will look slightly more natural if you do as well. And final position have you is I'm going to make this hand just stick out slightly from the body there. So it comes around the body and this arm will do the opposite. So I'm going to move that in here and have that just poking out that side of the body. So there we go. Keyframe 1 is done. Keyframe 2. So we go in here, create a keyframe. Uh, this is the passing position. So this is the now the weight bearing leg, so we'll move that in, we'll get rid of the slight bend that I put in in the first frame, uh, move that backwards and tilt it slightly so that the weight looks natural. And then this is one that's got it's the passing leg, so that's going to be up high and we're going to move that more, more central as well so that it looks reasonably natural. Okay, let's have a look at that from a distance. OK, and for this frame we'll um, ignore the arms, we won't need those for now. Um, but the thing to remember here is that on the f this leg is the back leg. Um, now that shouldn't go below this line, so on this frame you can see it's gone, it's gone down below the line. So I'm going to select my, my body layer and lift that up so it's sitting on top of that line. If you do that, also what will happen is the character will then start to bob up and down as he walks, which obviously is very natural. So always do that if you can help it. Um, so is, that's the lowest position of the body, and this one is the highest position of the body. Um, so that's the second keyframe. The third keyframe, so we'll just create that, is really a copy of the first one, but just the opposite. So if we follow this leg here, to make sure we have the right one, it's at the back, it's in the middle, and now on this frame, it should be at the front. So I'm going to bend that and back out, make it straight again, start from the beginning as such, and now that should come forward and come out. But obviously at this point the body should be at its lowest point again. So open up your body, select the first frame, copy that and paste it and it will bring that body down again. So now you're working at the same height and put that foot on the floor. And then this one will add a little bit of a bend. Right, now what we need to do is, is just flick between the first and the third frame and just see if they're similar. Now they are pretty similar, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. That's fine. They're, they're close enough. Um, so that's num and then all we need to do the arms on this one. So I'll just change the arms to the other extreme position. So that arm's going to rock back to that side of the body again. And this arm will come forwards and be the opposite to the first frame. So now as we start to look, also the arm doesn't move on that frame, but we'll sort that out later. Um, that's the basic first three positions. So then we create a fourth position, which again, unlike the, f the last one, or like the first one, is the copy of the second frame. So we're just doing the passing shot now. So if I zoom in again to do this, this leg is the weight-bearing leg, so slightly bent, and then just slightly bit uh, past centre. Make sure that fits flat. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to take the second frame, and then paste that onto there, so he lifts up off the floor again. And now this one is the passing leg. So I'll bring that forward, nudge that back into the into space a bit, and then just make sure that that is not passing.
passing by. And that knee is poking out slightly past that leg. Okay, so that is our basic walk cycle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stretch this out. So I'm going to bring this out one, two, three, four, five frames. Same with this one. One, two, three, four, five. And this one as well. One, two, three, four, five frames. Okay. So that's our leg movement there. Let's sort these arms out quickly. So we're going to go in. Now we want to keep that position. But what we want to do is get rid of this position. So we'll get rid of that one and get rid of that one. And now what you'll see is that the arms will now move into those two, two different positions. Obviously they stop moving there for now, but that will change in a minute when we cycle it. Okay, so let's have a little look. Now one thing we need to do is this back foot. Let's have a look at this back foot. As it moves, it shouldn't. It, it's now weight bearing, so it should be flat on the floor. So let's just turn that down and make sure it's flat. And let's keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't dip under this line here like it is here. So it's moving it along, and again, here it needs to be a bit higher, really. Let's keep an eye on that foot to try and keep it looking more natural. There we go. So now it stays on that on that floor. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's a nice start to our walk cycle. So that's all the hard work done. Now what we've got to do is just copy, so select those keyframes, copy them and then do your five frames and paste so we'll paste that in and now he should walk on the spot quite nicely there we go, he's bouncing up and down and everything looks good now he, obviously he needs to move across the screen so let's zoom out a little bit um, so with, on the peg layer at the top here we're going to make a new peg at the end of the walk cycle and I was going to hold shift and drag him across the screen somewhere and let go and now as a test we'll just test it and see what it looks like that's pretty good I'm happy with that it's not looking too bad but the thing to check here with the walk cycle is one of the worst mistakes is when a when your character slides across the screen to get a natural walk cycle or one that looks reasonably realistic the feet mustn't slide so the weight bearing leg which in this position is this one here mustn't slide so watch the heel see the heel doesn't really move out of position so my guess in, in positioning for the peg actually worked really well so if you watch the weight bearing legs they shouldn't slide the worst thing you can do is if I move my character really really far over here and zoom in again is make it look like it's sliding see that leg it's sliding all over the place because basically he's moving too far, too fast. So let's undo that and bring it back. So what you want is that weight-bearing leg, as it hits the floor, to really not move. That heel should be on the same place on the floor until it releases off the floor again. So that's quite a nice, natural-looking uh, walk cycle there. Let's play that again to check one more time. Okay, yeah, let's zoom in a bit more, get enough, a, bit, a closer feel for it. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is just add in a few little extra things. So we're going to go into the face here. Get rid of some of these keyframes on the eyelid. We won't need those for now. And add a few blinks. So I'm just going to go in using my drawing substitution. And add a few blinks. And then copy and paste that and stick a few of those in along the way. Second eyelid as well. We'll do that as well. Give him a little bit of a bit of life to him. Otherwise it looks a bit gormless, which I'm not too gormless. like so, so we're just going to add some blinks in like that, so if I play that again he should just blink a few times as he walks and maybe around here we'll change his mouth just to give him like he's swallowing or something there we go, so I'll just come up here and just quickly turn that line off There we go, so here's my character walking across the screen. So that's a nice, simple, basic walk cycle to get you started with. Obviously, please feel free to go in and amend it and make it look better, but that hopefully should give you a head start. Okay, thanks for watching.